Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a special video for you guys today. It is my first ever life hacks video on my channel and I chose to do a clothing life hacks. I figure we all wear clothes and we don't run around like Adam and Eve anymore with little leaves or naked so anyone can like benefit from this unless you already know these hacks. Um, but most of these I scoured around for so they are hacks that I didn't know and I'm hoping that you don't know so then we can all benefit from this. So yeah, if you like this video give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more videos like this then go ahead and subscribe to me. Any feedback that you guys give me is greatly appreciated and you can tell me videos that you want to see in the future down below and yeah, let's just jump right into the video. For you guys today I have 20 hacks and I have them on my phone so that then I can talk to y'all about them. The first hack is to put your jeans in a plastic bag and put them in the freezer overnight so that when you wake up in the morning they don't smell anymore, the odor is gone. Um, which I thought this was really an interesting hack because sometimes I'll put my stuff in a closet or in a drawer and then you take them out the next morning and they smell bad and so I thought maybe I can start storing my jeans in the freezer. The second hack is to fix foundation stains with a little bit of shaving cream. So when you have a shirt that has a foundation stain, you would just go over with some shaving cream and scrub it off. You can use a little bit of water and like a washcloth and that should do the trick. For our third hack, you need to use hairspray to remove lipstick stains from a shirt. Um, I have recently started to use lipstick and like really dark colored like lip gloss and I find this being an issue and so I thought this hack would be really helpful for me. Um, I carry or I am going to start carrying a little thing of hairspray around with me in like my car so that when this happens I can just spray it on and scrub it off. The next hack most of you probably know, but if you have clear nail polish and you have a button that is coming off of your shirt, then you can take the threads from the button and you simply paint some of that clear nail polish on there and it will hold your button on your shirt. For our next hack, it's for all of you who like to work out or for those of you who have stinky feet. Um, I find my brother does and you can simply take baking soda and put them in the bottom of whatever pair of shoes you have, leave it in overnight or for up to 24 hours, and then the smell will be gone. And you can just take the baking soda and dump it out, or even run a little bit of water through there and then let them air dry. The next one is for all you ladies out there who wear underwire bras. If you have a piece of moleskin or even a band-aid, then you can wrap it around your wire that is sticking out and you can be able to wear it for the day even if you just need to go shopping for a new bra it will work okay so i know all of us ladies have come into trouble where we have tights and you get that one little hole in them and then soon enough you have that big ladder effect where it goes all the way up your tights well when you first get that little hole use an adhesive glue or that clear nail polish again and it will stop the hole from spreading if you are working out and you have a fear that you sweat a lot, you can take one of those little thin panty liners and put those in the armpit of your shirt and then you won't be able to see your sweat stains because it will be absorbed by that pad. If you are like me and most of the time you put on your deodorant before you change into your clothes for the day, then you know all about getting that deodorant line all the way down the side of your shirt that you're going to wear. To help you with that, you, all you need is a baby wipe and you can scrub it right off. Especially during the fall and winter time and even into the spring, us girls really like to wear boots. I know guys do too, it just comes with when people tuck their pants into their boots a lot because boots are cute. Well, we run into this huge issue where our pants slowly start to ride up and soon enough they're like all crumpled down at our boots. So, what you can do for this is you can take a mitten clip and clip it to your pants on either side underneath your foot and it will keep your pants held down. I don't know how it feels on the bottom of your foot because I didn't have any mitten clips, but um, yeah, if you're desperate. 
If you are in a rush and you are wearing a button collared shirt or a collared shirt in general and your collar is messed up, you can fix that collar with a hair straightener. Another one for if your shoes are smelly, you can also put tea bags in them. I recommend green tea. Um, it absorbs more of the moisture and then your stuff won't smell anymore. And in general, if you put tea bags in your closet or in your drawer, in your dresser drawers, then the tea bags will help the smell. I know we have all done this where you are chewing gum and it's just great and all of a sudden it falls onto your lap or gets onto the bottom of your shoes and if you take an ice cube and you freeze the gum first then it will peel right off. To prevent and help remove sweat stains spray the underarms of your shirts with lemon juice before you wash them this will eliminate the smell and also the stains now i found this very interesting i have an issue with when i fold my shirts i can never see what design they are inside my dresser drawers so here's a tip on how to fold them so that you can tell what you're going to wear and it's easier to pick out your clothes We all have that favorite pair of shoes that has gotten wet and then they're just they're just too small because they have shrunk and so what you can do is get a baggie full of water put that inside those shoes where they have shrunk and put them in the freezer and then the ice as it expands it will stretch out your shoes and you don't have to stretch out your shoes then and have your feet hurt. So we all know those favorite pair of pants that have lint balls all over them. The trick for this is to take a square nail file, one of those ones where it has the multi-side, it's a multi-side nail file basically, and you can scrape those right off. Also, if you have like an old razor or a brand new one that is just a simple razor, then you can simply shave off those little lint balls off of your stuff, but be careful if you are using knitted material. I hate when I have my favorite sweatshirt or hoodie and that string inside the hoodie has come out and so a trick for this is to take a paper clip or something of that effect and you string it through one end and you like attach it and then it's easier to push it through the hoodie. For my second to last hack, if you have old shoes that you don't like the way that they look, then you can take some Mod Podge and cover the shoes in it and then you can put like a pair of, then you can put some material like lace or a fabric and cut it to that size and cover the shoe and then cover it with another layer of Mod Podge and then your shoes are like brand new. Okay guys, so for my last hack, it has to do with grease stains. Um, if you have an issue with grease stains, then this one is for you. All you have to do is go to like the dollar store and buy like 12 pieces of chalk for a dollar and then you will have grease stain removers forever. All you have to do is wipe the chalk, white chalk specifically, onto those grease stains and they will come out. So, I hope you guys liked this video and that some of these hacks were useful to you. Comment down below your favorite one that you think you will use the most. And I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye!